briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The legal saga began when car carriers accused Ford of engaging in anti-competitive behavior. According to car carriers, Ford enticed them to ramp up operations with promises of increased traffic and agreement with increased tariff rates. However, Ford allegedly prevented them from securing the necessary rate increases for profitable operations. This, car carriers claimed, drove their business to failure. Car carriers initially took the issue to court, accusing Ford of contravening the Sherman Act. Despite this, the court ruled in favor of Ford and Newcar, explaining that the alleged harm was not compensable, and dismissed the case with prejudice, a decision that contributed to establishing the legal doctrine of res judicata. Unsatisfied, car carriers filed a second suit consisting of 24 counts, including RICO violations, a violation of the Interstate Commerce Act, and violations of Illinois law. The district court, however, cited the doctrine of res judicata and dismissed the case without prejudice since the federal claims were considered moot, given the outcome of the earlier trial. This time, car carriers took the battle to the United States Court of Appeals for the Seventh Circuit, where they challenged the district's court use of res judicata. In their plea, car carriers requested a different approach, one that differentiates causes of action based on the rights, duties, and injuries addressed by each claim. They also claimed a lack of awareness on some of the facts until after the judgment on the previous suit. The court nevertheless upheld the district court's decision as deemed the appellant's argument unworthy. Despite car carriers' push to adopt a right-duty approach, the court maintained the same transaction test, agreeing that both the initial Sherman Act claims and subsequent RICO transgressions fell under the same cause of action. The court also deemed the jurisdiction of the Illinois Commerce Commission irrelevant to the federal claims. As such, the court affirmed the district court's decision and closed the book on car carriers' grueling legal battle against Ford. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.